Tag Junior, Senior, and Master on the way up right now. So we'll get them on the track here in just a moment. Get ready to start. They're getting Be queued up on the back stretch here. They'll come around to the final turn and get ready to go. But there's always that one guy in the neighborhood that has the convertible and he won't give up on the, having the top down. It could be 30 degrees out there, and he's going he's gonna to have that top down. So that might be the guy in the Miata. It may be. It may, it may be the one. All right, they're coming, getting ready to go through 16 and down into 17. We'll see if we get a good start this time. So let's check out our guys uh, at, at the start-finish line and see what they say. It's always interesting to watch their movements to see if they, they're keeping everybody in line. Now let's see if they can turn them loose. This is a good angle to see. You can see how they're lined up by the reference marks on the grid. Here they come to the line, and now they are all being waved around, looks like. Yep, did not make it that time around. We'll, we'll try it again. At, at least, like you said, thank goodness we've got the little cutoff there. Uh, that gives them an opportunity to not have to make the trip all the way back around the track. So we'll try it one more time. Uh, get everybody tightened up. You know, we can see on the field right there they need to tighten up just a little bit more. So once we get them tightened up and get everybody in line, we'll see if Cam Gentry is going to wave the green this time. We're telling them to slow down, slow down, slow down. And false start. Gentry yeah. backs away. Wave around. Not going to allow them to do it that time. they got to go once again. And you can see the, the rooster tails coming up from those wheels. Uh, a little more moisture on the track right now than we've had earlier. So just a little bit more drizzle is falling. And that I don't think it's going to present any additional problems for the drivers. I was talking to some of the crew earlier. They were telling me where puddles might start to form at the racetrack. But uh, generally speaking, I think we're going to be okay through most of the day. Well, given the conditions, it looks like the carts and the track are, are battling to a draw as far as the dryness of the track right now. It's not getting any better, but it's not getting any worse. Is the third time the charm. Let's see. Yeah, Gentry gives them the green, so we are heading down to turn number one. Look at the moisture coming out from those drivers. Ron Washburn and Bill Strempel. Washburn had the outside position, but he was able to take him on the outside going through turn number one, down the hill through two and back up the hill. Chug, chug, chug up the hill. Here they come. And I believe that is going to be Bill Strempel if he was starting on the outside. Let's see if we can see the numbers on that. You know, I've noticed that a lot of action happens right here in turn four, right in front of our perspective in the tower on that very first lap. That's where somebody usually separates themselves from the rest of the field. Stripple is out. Uh, oh, Oliveira is out front right now. I believe that's the 340 that has made his way up front. Let's check that out when we come by. 340 yes. is your leader, Leon, uh, Leonardo Oliveira. And we would assume Perez. And the tag, seniors. Okay, and again, this is three classes. These are the seniors, the juniors, and the masters. So we tend to call these races as an, uh, as an all-in-one, but there is individual races within the race. Yes, best of class kind of situation going on. We don't see any uh, – we've got seniors and masters. We don't see any juniors out there on our list right now. I believe it's supposed to be yeah, junior, senior, and master. Let me look on my big line up here and see if we have any – unless they started them. They started them in the back, but actually there are no juniors, so this is just masters and seniors. Well, Oliveira and Perez are both seniors, so they are in their top spot. Now, Jose Garcia, he's a driver that we see on the big track in the Miata series. Uh, he's running the double zero. Now, he is the first of the masters, so he leads our masters group right now, although he's running third on the racetrack. Garcia had some bad luck last week on the big track and told us he was really looking forward to getting over here today. He said, when it comes to fun, you can't beat the cart track. So I know he's having a good time running in that double zero car, uh, cart in third spot, one of the masters. He's just now coming off 17. So Oliveira and Perez have separated themselves from the rest of the fields. They come down to complete what I thought well, it looks like lap one here with a differential of three-tenths or four-tenths of a second. I think we've got a little... A little snafu in our scoring here, because I don't know that that can be. I think we are on the on the third lap now, but we we will see. I like the tenth place there, by the way, mystery driver. Yeah, <laughs> from the famous driver family. There's That's mystery right. driver, yeah. and there's uh, backseat his brother, and we should have it's Halloween weekend. We should have Dracula in there. There's car. Minnie Driver. You know, I've always liked her. And anyway, so anyway, we go. And we've lost the server is, is the uh, uh. understanding that I have here. So we'll just go with the dead reckoning as we come by and watch Oliveira and Perez battled out coming into turn number 16. 
But, you know, Oliveira had, uh, uh, and Perez were having a great battle, and Garcia is back there in third spot. These two drivers have have gone really no toe-to-toe. Uh, -to -toe. Look at that. Tight, tight battle between Oliveira and Perez, and they still battle hard into turn two right now. Oliveira is your leader, but Perez was trying to see if he could get a little closer. It's just not working out as Oliveira starts to pull away once again. And if I, I believe we are halfway through, that was the completion of lap four that last time by. As we watch them snaking through the kink and back up the rise going into turn number nine. And they are nose to tail. Overa hanging on for dear life here as Perez dogging move for move, step for step as they come out of the S's into turn 14 up and over. They'll come through 15 and into the 16 17 complex to wrap up. This next lap, we'll see what happens. They come down the line. Ooh, Perez peaked to the inside. Thought about doing something going into 16, but here they come out of 17. Still, Oliveira and Perez to the line. Well, Oliveira is very fast. Uh, as you can see, the tail end of his cart sliding out a little more than Perez, but yet he continues to maintain that advantage because he has a fast race car. They always say loose is fast, and apparently he's got a loose cart the way his setup is. Look at him slide through turn four. Uh, Perez slid a little bit that time too, but not near as much as Oliveira. Carter's got the cross flags that time by, so actually that was the completion of lap four. So now we are halfway through. We're on lap five now as Oliveira and Perez are battling to decide it out in this pre-final. In the tag senior class, Jose Garcia and Jordan M. wonder if he's related to the uh, James Bond's boss, M. But anyhow, <laughs> stop me. <laughs> well, I tell you, Garcia, look at Garcia. He is moving. Oh, oh and all around he goes. Just as we say that, Garcia spun, but he's able to, I believe he keeps the same spot. I don't believe he got passed. We'll have to check that out as he works his way around. I think he was in a, he lost a track position there. We'll see when they come by the line. So Oliveira brings it off turn 17. Perez behind him. It's a little bit of distance now between those two. Has he hit the line that? That's, yeah, Strimple was the one we just saw go past the line, so we're all over the place. Oliveira and Perez are still one and two. It's a tenth of a second between them at the line as they completed lap number five, three to go. Less than three to go here in the pre-final for the tag seniors and masters. Garcia still showing up as, you're right, as leading in the, in the masters class. Yeah, he was able to gather that one up and stay in third spot, is my understanding. He's got a 10-second lead at the line, so he had some substantial lead there. So he was able to, to weather that little hiccup there. And Perez just got by Oliveira out of turn 17, so Daniel Perez is our new race leader. Check this out as they come through turn two. This is far from settled, although you can see them separate as they go up the hill. Or No, Pere uh, Perez is... Off the, excuse me, yeah, Perez is off what the track. What happened to I Perez? Believe. Oliveira is uh, alone by himself now. He Perez is nowhere the, in sight. 340, yeah, Oliveira, Perez pulled off the track. That's what happened. He had some kind of issue because I saw him coming onto the track exit as they were going coming up the hill and going into turn number three. So There's so Perez there sitting over under the tech shed. Uh, man, that's, that's crummy. Mm. But at least it's a pre-final. It's going to cost him a start position for the final, but at least he'll better to lose the, the preliminary than the final. Yeah, Oliveira is your race leader, Jose Garcia. Now second on the track, but ahead in his division of Masters as they work by lap seven, now being completed by Oliveira. And you'll see Garcia pass that in just a moment. Here comes up, uh, Oliveira up turn two, up the hill, just off turn two into three and down into four. Your race lead now on the final lap around. So Oliveira with no competition anywhere in sight. You can see anybody in the frame other than the cars on the big track coming around turn number nine and going into your S's. All he's got to do is just keep it between, between the lines, keep it on the asphalt, and he should be good to go. But well, he's flying out of there. Yeah, coming out of nine. That's the first time he can actually turn and look and see uh, mm -hmm. anybody coming near him or whatever. And he sees that nobody's in sight. 
uh, Garcia way on back. Here he comes off turn number 17. We'll get a checkered flag from Cam Gentry. And Leonardo Oliveira gets the win here in the seniors. And it looks like it's going to be Jose Garcia who will win the Masters. Let's watch for Jose to come by in the double zero. And there he does. So he will win the Masters. So there was some action early and drama late in this one, Charles. Donald Davis completes his behind Jordan M. Both of those are master drivers. Mike Bruce, now there's a name, used to race with us at Lanier National Speedway back in the day. Mike Bruce in that 47 car. Been a long time since we've talked with Mike, uh, but he's a racer from many, many, many years ago. Lon Washburn in the 05, another master uh, in sixth spot in seventh. A senior, Bobby Keys. Bill Strempel in the Masters finishes eighth in the 88. Of course, Daniel Perez off the track in the 282, uh, who was leading the race at that particular time. And speaking of which, here they come. Ah, into 50. Yeah, they're they're not wasting any time. I think they want to they want to get this under, <laughs> get this scheduled before the weather gets any worse. Get this scheduled completed. And that's good because there are a lot of dirt tracks that don't like to stick to, or don't seem to want to stick to a schedule. So, yeah, so I, I, I like them, them coming off on time when they say they're going to run. I've been home at 3 and 4 in the morning oh a couple Lord. of the last few weeks. <laughs> don't like getting home that late in the day. Uh, uh, Leonardo Oliveira is on the pole, and Jose Garcia, remember, Jose was running fourth or fifth, and on the last lap he was able to catch a couple of spots and start in second spot. So he has started on the outside. Let's check them out as they get ready to head down into two. Yep, they got waved around. Oh, well, they did not make it. That's right. We did not get a green flag. One. So let's see if we can line them up and do a better job of getting them in the proper order this time and, and staying in those rows as they're supposed to. And here we go. One, one more time. Once more into the breach with the tag seniors and masters. Ah, there Cam Gentry gives him the green, so we're underway this time for sure. We got Oliveira and Garcia leading the pack into turn number one down the hill and into two. And look who broke out to a pretty good lead. Who is? Is that Oliveira or Garcia? We'll see this time by. That is going to be, that's number 340. That is Ooh. Leonardo Oliveira, your leader. And we got a, a mess behind wow. him. Wow, <laughs> slew forward. of drivers back there. Yep. Garcia, we've got Jordan M. Again, we're not sure who the M is, stands for. Uh, let's call him Maldonado in, uh, <laughs> in honor of the catcher for the Astros right now. <laughs> He's oh catching some heat from Donald Davis right now in fourth. So we'll M. Oh, no, we need, a, we need a, a, a racing M. Not, not, <laughs> That's no. right. I don't know why I went to Maldonado, Maldonado. of all people all of a sudden. First Mus name I could come up with. Musgrave. Yeah, or, there uh, we go. Or, uh, <laughs> oh, I know, yeah, that's going to be the rest of the of the. The rest of the race, I'm going to be coming up with M racing names yeah. now. Uh, one, of the, one of the outstanding little youngsters coming up in dirt racing is named Moochow. I like Moochow. We'll Moochow. go with Moochow. Moochow. <laughs> Oliveira is the race leader in the 340. is Daniel Perez, who's moved up to second spot in the 282. Donald Davis is third. Uh, Jose Garcia has faded back to fourth right now in the double zero. And Jordan Moochow in the number 30 <laughs> in fifth spot. We got a little battle there back for fourth position. Or is that fifth? I think that's going to be between Jordan and and Bill Strimple, I believe, going at it a little bit there as they head into the S, excuse me, the, the chicane, the kink. Watching them go into nine now, coming out, and they'll immediately go into the S's there out of nine into 10 and 11. We'll see them emerge and come around the back side of the track. Here we go. Coming out of 17, down to the line, Leonardo Oliveira has opened a healthy lead with only two laps under his belt. 4.4 seconds the lead for Oliveira over Perez. Perez holding a 2.2 second lead over Donald Davis back in third. Well, the best, uh, according to the way that they came across the stripe, the best uh, race on the track is between the 30 of Jordan M and Bill Strempel in the 88. Uh, those two clicked off quickest of the two drivers trying to work their way through. Sure. Oliveira continues to lead. They head down toward the S's right now. I think Oliveira is coming through the S's at this point. 
Someone have a little bit of trouble coming out of two. I saw him get a little wiggly. Uh, but that was one of the back markers there as he comes by in front of us right now. And that would be number 47, Mike Bruce. But he keeps it going the right way and continues on past as we are coming down to the line to complete lap number four. Here comes Oliveira to the line. That was Perez, actually, that came by just that time. Oliveira's already been by. Yeah, you notice by. how slow these drivers are coming across the line. That means there's a lot of distance between them. Very, very, not very tight racing amongst any particular driver or two out there. Everybody All pretty evenly spaced right now. Almost a five-second lead for Oliveira at this point, and it, it seems to be growing. Perez is then another three, almost four seconds ahead of, of Davis. So this one is kind of the rarity for the day as a, a race that's kind of gotten settled out and stretched out pretty early. Although you can see the raindrops coming down too from our camera because that may be just dripping off the awning that's over them. I'm not sure how, nobody's got umbrellas out or anything. So I think we're, we're not in a deluge or anything like that, but conditions are damp here still. And that's going to affect the performance on the track and track conditions and, and you need to be justifiably uh, cautious going into turns at the speeds that they do as we were talking to our our young driver earlier said you get on the brakes way way early in this situation which makes sense because you certainly don't want to see those tires up close and personal there's your leader Oliveira coming up turn number two right now he's getting ready to work his way through four there's a pretty good little battle shaping up between Daniel Perez and Donald Davis those two are a little closer together than they had been earlier in the race so right now they got a pretty good battle going on as they work their way through the kink right now. I think we have one off the track here somewhere oh. around turn three. I see the, I saw the yellows, local yellows waving, whether that was three or whether that was 14, but I think they've, they've pulled it. And and we've got good. one in 14, uh, in 15 yep, there's still one waving. off the track off of 17. He's back underway. So they're starting to slip and slide around a bit now, more than we have seen. Yeah, that car yet to get back up to speed that was coming across start finish down there. So just in a moment, they'll see if they can get back up to speed in that one. Meanwhile, we've got some coming through two right now, sliding around over there in two. There's the tr cart that's just now working their way up two that was off track a moment ago. Five laps in, working lap number six now of the tag senior and masters final. Here at week number seven, Atlanta Motorsports Park Summer Karting Series. Glad you've joined us. We're having a great time here, seeing all sorts of action from all different ages, sizes, displacements, <laughs> gearboxes, all sorts of variation here. But it's all been exciting here this afternoon. And again, there's one more, one more time around next month. If you want to join us here or join us at the track for the summer karting series week number eight will close it out for the year for these carts but these guys really they enjoy what they're doing and we enjoy coming out and seeing them do it because they're very competitive very passionate about what they do and they come on they put on a, a really good show and they have a good time that's what it's really all about well Oliveira and Perez if we see them there's only a two tenths of a difference in the, how they came across the line last time so they're starting to close the gap a little bit so Perez now closing in on Oliveira as the laps start to get to the point where we're at the halfway point, starting to wind down now. So we'll see if that battle is going to get a little tighter as we go along. Under under five seconds this time by. So let's keep an eye on that differential the next time Oliveira and Perez come by and see if, in fact, he is closing it in. It can happen once you kind of get in your rhythm, you get in a groove, or you get out of your rhythm if you're the leader, it can close up. So here we come out of turn number 17. Now here comes Oliveira to the line. He will clock in, or maybe he won't. Let's see. Waiting for, well, have we lost the leader? <laughs> His best lap, by the way, was lap number three, where he turned a 58.6. Yeah. So let's see. We'll, we'll get that number for you. It's five, actually 5.19. It's about 5.2 seconds. So he stretched wow. it a little bit over Perez that last time by six laps. So we're halfway through. Six laps through this 12-lap final. To be honest with you, Bill, I have lost the leader. I don't know exactly where the leader is right now. I keep waiting for him to cross the line so we'll know. Maybe he's in that cluster of drivers right there that's heading into 17. There's one way to find out. We just look at our scoring and wait for his little, his number to flash. 
as he crosses the line, which should be about right now. But there we go. That was actually seven and eight that just went under. So, so they're a little bit ahead of where of where we were. So maybe here. Oh, there's eight. Okay, so Oliveira now going through. Must have had a, a – we've got one there off track go. right now heading – Trying to get off track, trying to work their way down the hill there. I'm not sure they're going to make it. I believe they're out of, out of trouble. He's, he's in the exit lane, so yeah. he should be good. Or did he miss it? No, he's no, he's heading off into the garage area, the paddock, here at Atlanta Motorsports Park in the cart track. So there's some of your turn nine action there. And we'll Boy, you saw that front end just then jiggling on that cart. Uh, it looked like there it might have been skidding as he went down into the corner and had to had to catch it a little bit going least, into the turn nine area. Just carts by their very nature twitchy just because of the, the suspension is so direct. Yeah, so tight it, it, that you <laughs> any little move, and so you got to be ready for that. And actually, yeah, correction and overcorrection is definitely a easy thing to do. And here comes Oliveira hitting the line. Perez will be coming up behind him. Let's get the uh, 5.2 seconds. So uh, he's stretching he, out a little stretching more. stretching out a little bit, not not drastically, but a five-second lead is pretty comfortable. And if you add a tenth per lap after that, you're you're doing pretty well, especially Oliver, with just three laps left. Oliver is having to clear some of that lap traffic and trying to work his way by there. He does now. He finally clears them. So he's got smooth sailing now for quite a while. And there we go. We got Oliveira and Perez in the same shot for a moment. Here they come winding through those S's. And coming past our position, that is Leonardo Oliveira, your leader. It's good to have that camera back up. Coming I, off that, that. <laughs> that helps a whole lot. Helps a tremendous Absolutely. amount. That's about the only one we can see that we can actually read the numbers on the card. So it's important to have that yeah. one up and going. And the, the, the rain is now visible in our picture. So we And, and the rooster tails are coming up a lot more uh, uh, frequently. And uh, they're a lot bigger. So I think yeah, the weather is starting to degrade a bit. So I think the sooner we get these done, the better for everybody concerned. Two laps to go now. So we're uh, getting in that window of about to get this one finished up as Oliveira brings them off turn four, heading down to the kink once again. About a circuit and a half left for Leonardo Oliveira. He's been dominant this final. And... Unless something really bad happens, he'll continue to do so. But there's a battle right there between, is that Jordan well, and Davis? Oliveira is trying to get by a lapped car, I think. Oh, is what, that what it what is? What we got okay. going on there, yeah. And I think he's yielded the way, and I think Oliveira is now ahead of him. So it'll yeah, be yep. Leonardo coming off turn 17 back to complete 11 laps. White flag is out this time. As Perez comes to the line in second place, he's cut it down a half a second off of it. Wow. Well, actually, more than that, 4.428. Now, granted, that was most likely because Oliveira was hung up behind a lapper. Oliveira brings can... it off turn four, final time, as he heads down to the kink for the last time. And he can, yeah, we can spot Perez with that green helmet. That makes yeah. matters a little bit easier. But, yeah, Oliveira, this is totally in his control now. He's He's got it. And we got it in another oh. spin out. Who was that? Spinning out on turn nine. That was third. That was Jordan M., I believe. Is that a I believe it is Jordan M., yeah. So let's take a look. I believe our leader should be, and here he is, heading out of turn number 17, coming down to the line, taking the checkered flag, Leonard Oliveira, will be your winner in the tag senior final second place will be daniel perez and coming to the line despite his spin i believe no nope, jose garcia made up a couple position three mm, he's lapped down oh sorry he just came okay i just saw him come by never mind don't listen to me i don't even know how many laps are in the race so that's true. We've got um, as of yet, according to we'll timing see and scoring, Davis we made. don't have a third place as of yet. They're He's still got, still working on getting that as saw, they make their way down. We saw now. Jordan spinning on that last lap, so did he recover in time to, to keep third? We'll find out. Here they come to the line, and yep, yep he did. Oh, Davis just by hair though, almost got around him, but he didn't spin out quite enough or for long enough. And for here Davis to take advantage of. It. All right, so now we're fifth finished. place car. 
Yeah, Stremmel finishes in fifth, so Stremmel gets fifth. Congratulations to Leonardo Oliveira as he gets the win in this race today. What